Hello everybody in Cairo. I'm actually on a train travelling into London um, on my way to an Australian embassy party and I just wanted to take this opportunity to record the message that I want to send to everybody at the National Museum of Modern Art and everybody at the Gazira Club for honouring me with this co collaborative exhibition with Samia Kamel. It was in 2007 that I was invited by the Egyptian Artists Guild to come and talk about my artwork with everybody at the Embassy Club. And I thought it was just a wonderful experience and it gave me such a wealth of what Egyptian hospitality is about. Um, I'm indeed very honoured to be a part of this exhibition and I want to send a message of positivity and artistic, creative tolerance for all the wonderful things that are happening in our world today. There are many artists today who are not able to exhibit their artwork because of different restrictions. Indeed, there are Nobel Peace laureates who are not able to fully realize their visions of a peaceful world and are suffering oppressions as a result of what they dare to say about how our world should be shaped today. I created Patches of Life as a way of reflecting 5,000 years of our mutual shared history. I was not the least surprised when I found out that China and Egypt actually had an embassy and um, diplomatic relations during this first and second Silk Road. Um, so with this, I've drawn on some of the historic materials and created a fabric that mixes um, the different myriads of fabrics and textures that could have been found in that period. Silk, maybe not necessarily cotton, but definitely a kind of Hessian sackcloth style. Uh, satin and a number of other textures as well. The idea is that there are also putting together different calligraphic, ancient and modern and even drawing on graffiti fusion to actually fully realize what civilization, the pictorial language, and that fusion between pictograms, hieroglyphs, um, Chinese character writings, and even the modern day, day graf graffiti fusion and what all that is about. I hope okay. you enjoyed this exhibition. Um, Some of the symbols, uh, oh, oh, excuse oh, yes. the background <laughs> noise, the train is actually uh, traveling through to different stations at the moment. Uh, yeah. But um, okay. some of these yeah, different symbolisms is actually drawn from age, uh, Bronze Age Chinese symbolism, um, different things found in Egyptian hieroglyphs, and then also I found the most wonderful uh, calligraphy from both individuals who has chosen to take topics from the Quran and actually put that into a kind of divine celebration and okay. respect right. um, I will for the Quran and then also link that okay. with our um, common look, shared I'll, heritage I'll of I'll having Persian that, writings because the Urdu no, Muslim people was actually no. invited to come and live in China oh, as part of our Silk Road well, shared okay. heritage. Yes. So I just want to say to everybody in the Egyptian art Guild and everybody in the National Gallery of Modern Arts that I'm sitting here on a train traveling through and thinking of good thoughts and thinking of all the wonderful things that 5,000 years of has history has bring. It hasn't actually been an easy journey. All of us have gone through different ups and downs. There has been emperors, there's been you know pharaohs, there's been benevolent rulers and has been oppressive dictators. There's been so many different turns and twists and turns. And what we can always rely on is the cultural sustainability of both our culture as it travels through more than 5,000 years of the, this history on this planet. And we as artists and our ability to actually safeguard that by t digging deep into who we are and who we are as both people and is part of a great and ancient culture and actually become the very vanguard and safeguards for the genuine voice and the genuine reflection of not just social or political reality but a higher realization of humanity's 
better values. And I really celebrate this opportunity to have this exchange with everybody in Egypt. And I'm sending my absolute best to everybody at the gallery, but also in Cairo. Thank you very much for seeing my art and thank you for letting me share my visions with you in this wonderful East-West Fusion exhibition. Thank you. Bye-bye.